Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I was, you know, I was, I I started watching Demi's um, documentary on uh, YouTube, and you know, it got me to realizing I have a documentary I'm working on myself. It's in the process right now. Um, but, you know, the reason I bring it up is because, you know, we, we all have our struggles in life. We all have those, you know, those days, those moments, those, you know, seconds, those hours, those weeks, those months, those years that we just don't want to do anything. We don't want to succeed, if you will. And then there's times where we want to excel to the highest ability of of our being. And, you know, it's not easy waking up every single day, you know, doing things that you normally would not do in any situation. You know, whether it's a good situation, a bad situation, it's just, you know... Everyone, let, let's go back to, not my childhood, but I guarantee you every single person had, you know, a childhood dream, a childhood, you know, aspiration, inspiration, someone who you, they looked up to and wanted to become um, as they got older. You know, I've told you guys stories about what I wanted to be when I grew up and, you know, what I wanted to do with my life. And, you know, if I would have started my life behind the camera on it from an early, early age, which I kind of did, to be honest with you, my parents filmed everything or pretty close to everything in our childhood or took pictures or whatever you want to call it. I wish I would have, you know, been more outspoken, more adventurous, if you will, as a child. Don't get me wrong. I used to do plays all the time as a child. Well, I did it like maybe like three or four uh, plays as a child. And, you know, parents film or take photos of you from an early age. But there are things that I didn't do from, you know... Like six to you know my my eighteenth birthday that I wish I would have done. I'm not saying it was going to be an easy journey. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is that I should have you know tackled being behind the camera better than what I have been doing over the course of you know the past five six years. That I've been doing this, even though technically I did delete all of those videos a couple last this year, and I wish I hadn't. But there were things on those videos that were not who I was. And ever since I returned two months, almost three months ago, it's just been a difficult whirlwind of you know life that I've been through. And not everything is going to be handed to me on a silver platter. I get that. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to go to these big conventions or, you know, these big gatherings or doing my own meet and greets until, you know, we we step up my game a little bit. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy to step up my game. Not the slightest. But there are things in this life where we need to realize that, you know, dreams can become a reality. You know, when I was, I've told this story before on this channel. When I was, you know, seven or eight years old, my or maybe even ten years old, my lifelong dream was to become an actor. Now, I've said I've wanted to become, you know, a musician, uh, you know, um, an astronaut, a police officer, a firefighter in previous videos before. But the thing that's always stuck in my head, and I've said this before in a video, I, I've, 
I, I will repeat this at least a couple more times in this video. In my head, I always knew, even though I was never behind the camera fully or, you know, ever being filmed by, you know, for more than, you know, a couple days here and there in my young childhood, but always in the t front of my head, the side of my head, in the back of my head, in the back of my brain, I knew that I wanted to be talented. I wanted to do something, you know, something worthwhile. For me, in my in my heart, in my brain, I knew that there was, you know, this little little glimpse into my future when I was six, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up until today. That I would be, you know, doing something with my life, like like what I'm doing here on YouTube when I'm. When I'm making videos for you guys every single day for the past two months, you know, it wasn't an easy journey to get to this point. And I'm not saying it's going to be an easy journey from, you know, tomorrow on to my, you know, 30th birthday and then on to my, you know, 50th birthday, 60th birthday. It's not going to be easy journey. But I'm still here, and I'm still kicking, and I'm still doing what I love. I'm still, you know, I still have that mindset in my head that being filmed on a video or on a camera or on my phone, it's something I love. And it always has been something I loved. It's, and it hasn't been an easy journey these past six years. It hasn't, and it's not going to get any easier. But, you know, I hope you guys understand. And if you understand what I'm saying, please, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button down below in this for this video. Because I want you guys to see things the way I see them. It may not come today. It may not come tomorrow. It may not come a week from now or a month from now, or six months from now, or a year from now. But I hope you guys see what I'm coming, where I'm coming from in this video today. You guys know the drill. Keep it real. And subscribe and comment and like all that stuff. Bye-bye.